A reading from the book of Acts chapter 11 verse 19 to 26 Some of the believers who were scattered by the persecution which took place when Stephen was killed went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus and Antioch telling the message to Jews only but other believers who were from Cyprus and Cyrene went to Antioch and proclaimed the message to gentiles also telling them the good news about the lord jesus the lord's power was with them and a great number of people believed and turned to the lord the news about this reached the church in jerusalem so they sent barnabas to antioch when he arrived and saw how god had blessed the people he was glad and urged them all to be faithful and true to the lord with all their hearts Barnabas was a good man full of the holy spirit and faith and many people were brought to the lord then barnabas went to tarsus to look for saul when he found him he took him to antioch and for a whole year the two met with the people of the church and taught a large group it was at antioch that the believers were first called christians the word of the lord A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St John chapter 10 verses 22 to 30 It was winter and the festival of the dedication of the temple was being celebrated in Jerusalem Jesus was walking in Solomon's porch in the temple When the people gathered around him and asked How long are you going to keep us in suspense Tell us the plain truth are you the messiah Jesus answered I have already told you but you would not believe me the deeds I do by my father's authority speak on my behalf but you will not believe for you are not my sheep my sheep listen to my voice I know them and they follow me I give them eternal life and they shall never die No one can snatch them away from me. What my father has given me is greater than everything and no one can snatch them away from the father's care. The father and I are one. This is the gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, at the moment of the transfiguration, there came a voice from heaven this is my beloved son listen listen to him my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ even in today's gospel jesus says my sheep listen to my voice and i know them and they follow me therefore if we are really his sheep then we must listen to his voice My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ if a sheep does not listen to the voice of his shepherd and if a sheep is not willing to follow the footsteps of the shepherd that sheep gets lost it gets lost sometimes it has to undergo great dangers in its life sometimes it loses its life even therefore it is essential that a shepherd listen to the voice of the shepherd and follows its footstep my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ in today's first reading we see how the people of antioch zirain and cyprus listen to the voice of christ through the preaching of jesus's disciples they could recognize the voice of jesus through the pe- preaching of the disciples therefore they decided to repent and to change their lives and to follow 
the way of Christ. Because they understood that if they follow the way of Christ, the eternal shepherd, the shepherd of our excellence, they will have life and they will have life in fullness. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, even today Jesus speaks to us through so many people. His voice can be heard through the voice of so many people, especially through our loud, loud ones and through, through the ones who are near to us. Especially, Jesus speaks to us through our parents. Jesus speaks to us through our superiors. Jesus speaks to us through the seniors who are living in our society. Now we have to ask, as a sheep, am I ready to listen to the voice of the shepherd, voice of my shepherd, Jesus, who is speaking to me in and through my superiors and teachers? Or am I a sheep who tries to become independent, who tries to find my own way? If I try to find my own way, if I try to be independent from my shepherd, that will be the end of my life. That will be the beginning of the ruining, ruin of my life. Therefore, dear Jesus, help me always to listen to your voice. Not only to listen to your voice, but to follow you and to work along your path so that I will have life and I will have life to the fullest. Amen.